I'm also going to start with a clear rod most of the time. I'm going to basically turn the glass inside out and get those dots to go inside of the clear lava man So the first step in that is I have to mash it on the table. So I get this dip. And then those you look quickly, the dots are on the mm. back side. There's just a little bit of something on here that I need to remove. I think it's just a cluster of bubbles. Clean that up. Now what I have to do is hold it upright so that gravity pulls it back down and here a ball that it used to be and in that process of it falling the middle colors get pulled inside and the outside clear wraps around it and it's how I get all that color and stuff inside of it. There's multiple ways to do this. Shows the wrong color for demonstrating this, but <laughs> you can kind of see if you look real close, there's little things inside there. That's the color. Now that color is going to change later. But right now I'm just interested in what the dots did. Now 
I need to take take this off of there. What I'm going to do is attach a rod temporarily to the other end of the tendon. The glass cools real quickly, so it's actually already firm. And then I'm going to use this as my handle to take the pendant off the main rod. And I'm going to make the loop at the same time. so suddenly see a little bit of amber in there. Mm -hmm. But once I reheat this, it should become more. So I gotta get it off there. Because it was only a temporary bond, I can crack it off. And now I'm fire polishing that spot where it cracked off. You're usually a little chip. But now as this heats up, colors are gonna come back. Hmm. I don't want to get it too hot. The color can burn and it doesn't look as vibrant. striking when you bring the color back strike it back I could heat this back up to molten and the color would go away and then I could re-strike it later but every time it changes just a little bit mm -hmm. and that's got to cool for five ten minutes mm -hmm. How long have you been playing glass? Um, well, I started when I was 16 making beads. You take a rod of glass and you wrap it around a steel, it's called a steel mandrel. And then you pull it off and you have beads. These are some of my early beads. Not fancy. So now I have to ask you how old you are now, John. How what? How old are you oh, now? I'm 38. Oh, so you've been doing it a long time. Yeah, I've been playing with the hot glass for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I do the painting too, so it's a juggle between it. 